Well, I want to emphasize that the absence of youth with disabilities, if that is the case in your church, is not due to the unimportance of their faith. For example, in one of our studies, we asked, in this case, parents of 440 youth who had intellectual disability or autism about the extent to which they agreed with these five statements regarding their youth. Uh, my child prays daily. 56% of parents said that's true of my son or daughter. They look to their faith as providing meaning and purpose in their life. That was true for 57% of their children. They consider themselves to be active in their faith community or congregation. 61% said that. They enjoy being around others who share their faith. 72% said that. And their faith impacts many of their decisions. That was 49%. If you looked across all five of those items, which just come from a standard scale around um, uh, uh, the importance of faith, more than 80% agreed or strongly agreed with at least one of these statements. And so, like anyone else, young people with disabilities want to know and be known by God. They want to love and be loved by their neighbors, to serve and be served by others, to discover and live out their calling. And like anyone else, they want to explore and share and deepen their faith in the midst of a caring and committed community, like anyone else. And you see that in the quotes reflected here on the screen. Uh, just to emphasize for those of you who are taking photos of screens, we're going to send out the handouts as well, which will have all of this in there. So no worries about that as well. But there also seems to be a gap then between the priorities of youth and the actual participation of youth. And I won't share too much data as we go, but that's my accent of how I help tell the story. We don't have great data nationally, but on this figure, what I've done is arrayed uh, the reported participation of youth with disabilities in our study in worship services, which was 64% attending weekly or a quarter monthly and yearly to yearly. Uh, in religious education classes, which is about 46% weekly and 16% monthly to yearly, to social events, and then to youth groups, which is about 24% of youth with disabilities weekly, 12% monthly or yearly. So you start to see youth connected to congregations, but when it comes to smaller places where youth might gather in groups or youth retreats or mission trips or social events, the numbers start to drop dramatically. Now, I don't have comparative data on youth without disabilities, which would be really helpful to see how these two line up in that sense as well. But we know in every study, the data are less participation, less presence. And there are many reasons for why people might be less present. It's not because of the importance of their faith. 